name is Labana Iro, the Vice Chancellor, our President of Daystar University in Nairobi, Kenya. One of your physical hubs for the Denver Conference, and uh, you're all welcome. First of all, we are greatly honored and uh, privileged considering that uh, we have had the privilege to host the ICA conference and now under these very extraneous circumstances of COVID, uh, there was still some consideration for Daystar to be one of the uh, physical hubs which would then link up with the main conference in Denver and that we'll have participants assemble at Daystar in Africa and be able to follow the conference proceedings uh, is, is huge for us and we're very thankful. First of all, just the theme of uh, the 71st conference um, indicates uh, a very strong sense of care. Um, under these COVID conditions, uh, it's good that uh, professionals in the communication uh, area are still going out to reach out to each other and encourage each other. So I'm seeing, as your theme states, there's a lot of collaboration. Uh, there is uh, obviously a lot of communication ideas will float around. And um, just uh, telling us that even under these COVID conditions, um, there is some semblance of social justice uh, in terms of how we relate as professionals and also with uh, our young uh, men and women in the field of communication. So yes, uh, very, very significant. And uh, I also am aware that uh, a lot of your members have come in to support Daystar, have stood in with Daystar as we have held online programs for the masters and PhD students uh, for free, not being paid. And this has been a big encouragement to us and we are thankful. Yeah, I'm already aware um, in our enrollment uh, appeal uh, that we have quite uh, a large number of uh, young scholars and uh, researchers who will be attending uh, this conference at Daystar. And uh, I would like to encourage them even more. They might not attend all the sessions, they might not be here for the five days, but uh, please come in, tap into your area of interest so that you build your portfolio as a researcher and as a scholar. I think it's, it's, it's uh, very, very important, these networks, the interactions, and just uh, walking at the frontier of new knowledge and communication uh, is a great advantage, particularly for those of us in the South, where such conferences are, you know, are hard to come by. Yeah, I, I think the difference between <clears throat> us, Daystar, just by our very nature, we believe in doing what is right. Um, I think our Christ-centeredness as a university, our culture in the past, and our desire for the future um, uh, just, uh, you know, compels us to do what is right. So I know that all the protocols of the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Education and even the ones of the World Health Organization are being adhered to. Uh, social distancing, sanitization, uh, washing of hands, and uh, of course, perpetual wearing of masks are aspects that have become part of our culture here. 
So I, I have no worries at all and uh, we shall continue to exercise vigilance. Uh, because again, uh, we must demonstrate a certain determination against this pandemic. We, we must uh, stand up. Uh, and, and many of us have had vaccinations, uh, particularly in Desta University. We are waiting for the second jabs. We hope uh, they'll arrive in the country soon. But uh, we, we are aware of the dangers of the pandemic and um, every measure has been taken to ensure that uh, the safety of the participants is guaranteed. Uh, but for me, the bigger picture is a demonstration of courage and uh, resilience uh, that uh, within or within a context of adversity, you must be able to stand up. And that's why I'm so thankful to the organizers for having confidence in allowing us to be a physical hub uh, in this region. First of all, the basic uh, infrastructure for communication, uh, adequate internet outlay, bundles uh, have been catered for by the university. We are also uh, publicizing the event uh, extensively, not just on our website, but through other social media avenues. And I'm sure the Kenyan press will pick up uh, this event as expected. So we, we are playing our part uh, to give this conference the visibility it deserves. I, I am aware of the, the differentials in the timelines, uh, but I am sure we have addressed that within our logistics, so that should not be a big problem. When you choose to be in a particular field, um, you must be a member of that uh, congregation. Um, so for you to enrich yourself in terms of publications, for you to make the right networks, for you to get published, for you to collaborate for resources, uh, you, you have to have a membership to a strong and validated um, organization in your area. So I would encourage the young scholars and uh, not even young scholars, all of us, to always be a member of uh, those uh, setups that uh, can amplify your work, give you the visibility, give you the networks and, um, and, and just lift your profile. Just to thank them and wish them well, um, to, 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 in their minds they should begin to see why DAISTA is significant in communication. Uh, that's our flagship, that's who we, we've been as a university, although other programs are coming in. And that uh, they, they should uh, go out there and uh, broadcast the name of DAISTA in terms of communication and come and partake of our courses in communication. So it's wonderful. And for the organizers, really, out there in Denver, we, we thank you. And uh, we can only say you are true friends. Thank you very much. <laughs>